My son is doing great. Of course, he's the reason that uh, we're supporting Texas Children's Hospital here in Houston. And um, we were at Children's Hospital in LA and they work together and they do great things together. And so it seemed like a, a good idea to raise money for them while we're here. Well, being a basketball player, one of the most important things, actually for me, the number one most important thing is to carve up. And uh, I make pancakes almost every morning. And my daughter demands that I made the mistake of making cartoon character shaped pancakes. And now my daughter, Jane, who's almost four years old, demands them. She, you know, she doesn't just want a round brown pancake. She wants something that looks like someone from Paw Patrol. So every morning I get out all the colors and I squeeze out some kind of cartoon character on the griddle. Yeah, they get along pretty well. I mean, you know, they get along about as well as a three-year-old and a one-year-old can get along. The reason I, I've gotten more political on my show, it's almost like if um, saying, you know, you've, you've seen more panicky since your house went on fire. You know, it's like because the things are going so badly, you, you can't just stand by and not say anything about it. As, as if you love your country, you have to say what you believe and you have to speak up about the things you think are wrong and there's just this hailstorm of things that are wrong happening not just every day but multiple times every day and I feel like I have no choice but to talk about that stuff. What's been the response to that? Well the response is mixed you know some people think it's great and some people don't like it at all. Ted Cruz is um, the lowest of the low he is um, I understand now being in Houston with the climate the way it is why his hair is so greasy all the time <laughs> Uh, he looks like a blobfish, which I pointed out on the show. Not his fault. Blame his parents for that. But he's uh, not someone I admire professionally or personally. He's someone that I guess thinks he's good at basketball. I look at him and I can't imagine that that's true. He challenged me. I said, okay, I'll, I'll accept the challenge. And <laughs> now here we are in the middle of Houston with thousands of people watching, ready to watch the worst basketball game ever. Well, you know, I started practicing. I hadn't really played basketball regularly for, I don't know, 25 years probably. But I started practicing a little, and I realized that the practice was taking a terrible toll on this body. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to wing it. We'll get there, and we'll see what happens. Well, when you do something like this, I think it's always the right thing to do to try to do something good along with it. So, yeah, we're having this game, and it's relatively meaningless, but what is meaningful is the fans who've donated a lot of money to our charities, and Ted and I will be donating, depending upon, let me just put it to you this way, if, even if I lose, God forbid, I'm still donating to the charities, but we'll see what Ted does. Tell me what you think about Jimmy Kimmel and his politics. Uh, well, look, I, I, I think Jimmy's, J Jimmy's politics is, is, is the exact opposite of his game. So you notice his game, he never went left. In his politics, he always goes left. So, you know, I, I, and I think his politics and his basketball game could do a little bit better if he went right and left and had a little bit more balance. Now, I will readily plead to that same fault. I, I go right, my left hand is barely attached to my body, so I, I understand that weakness, but, but, but I think a little more common ground would be good for all of us.